Although Vegas 13 has been around a while, this latest push to us existing users of 12 and earlier to get 13 now with a free upgrade to 14 in the future has tempted a lot of experienced Vegas users to upgrade. But when you've done it, you'll find that a lot of your regular tools seem to have disappeared. So here's a short guide to where they've all gone. When you first open 13, it's in simple mode. Click here to go to advanced mode, or normal as we tend to call it, and save a project so it always then opens up in advance. The top toolbar looks very sparse now, and the secret to the changes in 13 is that all of those missing functions have been moved down to below the timeline. So from enable snapping all the way over to split, they've all moved down to the bottom. Let's look at what they've done with them. So here's the edit options. Well, most of them anyway. One annoying change is that when you're in normal edit mode, you can't drag on the top corner of a clip to fade it. Instead, you have to click on the fade icon. There's a sort of quicker way to switch between these by pressing D on your keyboard. That pages through the five edit modes, normal, envelope, and then the invisible, selection edit and minimize tracks, and eventually selecting fade. So that is relatively clear, but just a warning though, if you click on the minimize tool, you can only undo that by unticking the minimize all tracks in the view menu. Next are the often used tools, add effect and pan crop. They call up their tool panels, which is actually rather handy. Next are the basic trim tools, which have all moved from the top toolbar, but I think most experienced users are going to be using keyboard shortcuts for these anyway. Configure is where you're going to find the last set of those top toolbars. Ignore grouping, lock envelope, auto ripple, auto crossfade, and snapping. Although it would be nice to have those visible all the time, at least they're now not so small that you don't know whether you've selected them or not. Auto Ripple comes up in standard mode. If you normally use a different Ripple setting, just set it in the top options menu. So that's about it for all of the moving about. But there are a couple of things to watch out for. If you undock the preview pane, you'll then find that you can't redock it. To do this, you need to go to Options, Preferences, Display, and there's a new tip box here that says Allow Floating Windows to Dock. For backward compatibility, I found that some Vegas 12 projects crash 13. I think it's to do with some of the media, so I'm keeping my old Vegas on my PC just to be on the safe side. So that's my roundup of where all your Vegas controls went. And if you have others you've lost, let me know and we'll have a look at it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more Vegas and video guides.